podcast to turn into like a dunking on the men's sprinters of Jamaica, which I kind of started because I opened up the question with it. But, you know, hey, I think that's what happens when you have two of the greatest of all time on the women's side, it's going to equilibrium it out by like, Hey, well, you're going to be pretty bad on the other side that you can't have greatness on both sides. You have to, if all the greatness is going to be sucked away from the men, it's going to go all into the women. So, well, 2012, uh, they were pretty good. They got that. The men got the sweep in the 200. Yeah, but they had and, this guy named the, Usain Bolt. Yeah. yeah well, that's the thing. That's the thing. You had Bolt and then you had Blake. Blake was good. Obviously didn't ascend to Bolt levels, which nobody can expect. But then even in the Bolt and Blake, era you had guys like you know freighter out there you know guy really solid guys Powell, yeah yeah exactly Safa Powell and and the transition's never been made and I guess it'd be a longer conversation to figure out you know why that is on the men's side but these are just numbers I mean I'm not trying to dunk on them Th- those are legit numbers I mean nobody under 990 since 2016 you count up and it's not just the U.S. Jamaica thing look at other countries and the depth that they have you know, Great Britain, South Africa, et cetera, et cetera. There's a lot of countries who are putting out better performances year in, year out. And I wonder, like, who is going to be the next guy for Jamaica? That's an interesting question, too. Is it going to be somebody who's coming up through the college system? Or is it going to be somebody who stays in Jamaica, a la Bolt and Blake, and makes a big splash at Champs or one of those meets and, and stays there? That's what I'm interested to see because I don't think they're going to be down this low for very long. But right now, you know, they're not a factor. Uh, Anthony Rock just mentioned the U.S. sprinters have performed worse than the Jamaicans. Um, no. And uh, one Don just said Teja what? Gale what? will medal next year. Uh, I mean, yes, the the men's four by one has been trash, but. In the individual events in the 100 and 200, U.S. men have been way better than Jamaicans on the men's side. On the women's side, the Jamaican yeah. women have been 10 times better than the women. Like, U.S. women's sprinting is basically the equivalent of men's Jamaican sprinting right now. No, I think, I think they have more of a hope. There's glimmers there as well. For the U.S. women, Richardson can, I mean, Richardson can get a medal. If a Jamaican man wins a medal in the 100 or 200 next year, it's an upset. I know people are big on Gale, and that's great. Long jumper going over the sprints. But that would be an upset. I think for the women, there's a path for a U.S. woman to get a medal with without too many crazy things happening. Also, I don't know, man. I think also, the odds of a male Jamaican meddling is the same as a women's U.S. sprinter meddling. But the in competition, the but the competition is so much harder in the women's too because you have thompson hurrah and fraser price running all-time times so you can excuse other nations for not being as good on the men's side it's wide open right because there is no bolt we just saw lamont jacobs come out of nowhere and win a gold medal it's right for the picking if people want to get in there and and get a medal and they're not able to do it and they're not able to get under 990. i think the U.S. should be better. They have so many more people than, than Jamaica. It's not a slam on Jamaica, but they were so good. They had that moment. The men did for so long. The women still have it, and it's incredible. But I, I do think somebody eventually is going to be able to, to break through. I just don't know who it is. And you, listen, the U.S. men didn't get a bunch of sprint medals in, in Tokyo. Gold medals, excuse me. But they got a lot of medals. And then you go back to Doha. They won the 100, and they won the 200, and they got a medal in the 400. So, and they won the four by one. So you only have to go back one championship to find where the U.S. had success at the top of the podium. I'm just excited that Jamaica has a bobsled team. We're going to watch Cool Runnings in a few weeks, get excited. However, I heard Cool Runnings isn't 100% factual. I've read read things that, like, they kind of Disney-fied it and embellished a few things, unfortunately. But I thought it was straight up a documentary. I didn't know it was a little, a little bit not 100% accurate. Here's a good comment. All in the game says, U.S. has so much more depth and resources. The fact that others have been able to compete over the last decade has been great for the sport, but it's also cyclical. Yes. I agree with pretty much everything in that statement. And right now, they're the, the Jamaican men are at a low point in the cycle. It doesn't mean they can't get back up. 
but it also makes you appreciate when they were up and how crazy it was. One, two, three in London, all those gold and silver years with Bolt and Blake. You know, Bolt fall starts in Daegu. Oh man, you lost the fastest man in the world. No problem. Johan Blake's right there. He gets gold. That was an impressive run. And I think people just thought it was going to continue forever, and it's not. Did you see that new um, Shakari Richardson?